What is going on everyone? It's Codextral here with a video tutorial on how to stream on YouNow. Basically, I have people on YouNow, uh, the community ask me questions of how do I make my stream so crisp, clean, and everyone else's quality is just laggy and whatnot. Well, I use a third-party program called XSplit. Uh, which it does cost a little bit of money. Uh, there's another alternative called OBS, which I'll show you both how to use it. It's fairly simple to set up. So you want to go over on your you now sign in. You want to click on the green button where it says go live. Um, and this screen will display. Now I have the desktop app because it's more native. I don't like using the web browser. So uh, let's bring up the um, application here. Now it's just the same concept. You can still use your web browser, um, but I just use the application. So now that we're on the screen, um, you will see the cog right here. It'll say advanced options. You want to go ahead and click on that, then click on use external streaming tool. Now it gives you a basic of instructions, uh, download and install OBS, which you can click there or another tool, which I use XSplit, and it says to set up blah, 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 blah. You don't need to set up your video size. Um, you can if you want to. I stream in 1080p, uh, but it just downscales automatically to 720p. So next thing is, let's go ahead and open up our OBS, and right here is OBS. Now, your screen will be different. It just depends how you want to customize your entire screen. You're going to have to learn how to work with OBS. This video just shows you how to stream on you now. And there's other video tutorials out there of how to customize and add all these nice features and whatnot. Basically, you want to click on the settings right there. And you want to click on stream. And now on the very top, you'll see stream type. You want to go ahead and click on custom streaming server. Now it's asking for the URL or the RTMP server, which is the RTMP or the URL. You go ahead and copy that in with control C then control V. And you want to get the stream key, which right here, this is the stream key. So copy that and go ahead and paste that in and click OK. And that's it. Um, now all you got to do is hit start streaming and now you're streaming to these services and um, you want to type in the tag that you're using or whichever is related to you. If you want to share it, it's optional. You can go ahead and share it. So you first got to start streaming. That's the first thing. Click on start streaming first, give it about 10 seconds, then click on prepare broadcast. Then the entire chat box will appear. Now it's the same concept with the XSplit, which right here is XSplit. It's kind of mirroring the entire desktop. As you can see, Woo! it's mirroring everything. So um, on the XSplit, you want to click on sources, or excuse me, you want to click on outputs, and you want to click on set up a new output and it'll say custom um, RTMP and you just kind of follow the process from there. So it's fairly simple to set up and you do have to have the you now um, application or the web browser popped up so you can see the people that is typing to you. Now that's it. It's that simple guys. Um, and now if you find this video very helpful, please go ahead and give me a like, uh, share the video content on all your social media and do subscribe to the channel. It really does make a difference and help me grow and uh, further educate people on all the services that I use and whatnot. And maybe you guys have some other questions that can help you guys out with. So y'all take care and I'll see you in the next video.